Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna take you guys to Twin River Casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island. It's my home casino. And uh, I'll show you guys around. It's a pretty good spot, pretty big casino for our local casino. Um, it's got tons of games there, slot machines, table games, restaurants, bars. And I'll show you guys a little around when we get there. So stick around for this video. All right, so we're pulling into the entrance of uh, Twin River Casino. It's a Bally's property. Uh, they recently bought this probably about a year to two years ago. Um, not exactly sure of the timing, but I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Bally's. It's a worldwide property, and uh, we'll park the car, and I'll take some more footage as I'm making my way in. So stick around. All right, guys, we're in the parking lot, and I have to say, it is absolutely packed here today. I'm um, wondering if the weather has something to do with it. It's pretty raw, rainy and cold, and snowy, and uh, probably nothing better to do than go gamble your money at a casino. So we'll uh, show you guys inside when we get there. Here's Newman. All right, we're, in, we're coming into the entrance, and they do have valet parking here which is nice. We did not do that though. We parked uh, quite a bit of ways from the building entrance because it's so busy here. But I have valet and it's very convenient and they do a nice job here. All right, and this is the main entrance, really nice. All right, so we're heading up the stairs. This is the west entrance. It's one of the main entrances of the casino. And the escalator is out of service right now, so we're huffing it up the stairs. All right, so they have a sports book here, and that's where we're heading to watch the Bruins and uh, Red Wings game. And I'll show you guys inside when we get there. Thanks, Newman. Pretty nice. Pretty dead. And this is uh, what it looks like inside. Hey Newman, so uh, we're here at the uh, sports book at Twin River. And uh, we're watching the Bruins game. As you can see, there's tons of televisions here. It's not really busy, but what's your reaction to the Bruins game so far? Not good. Not good. Down 2 nothing. Yeah. For the first. And now you put a bet on this game, correct? Yes, I have a few bets going. Yeah, which, what's the biggest bet you have going? Uh, I've got a bunch of small bets going. The biggest one is probably $50, but I've got a bunch of $50, $25 bets. All right, and what, obviously besides winning, do you need any other particular outcome of this game? Yeah, in order to I have win? the over, I've got the um, puck line, Bruins were favored one and a half. I've got the 60-minute bet. Right now it's not looking very good, but two periods to go, so I think we can do it. Perfect. I'm optimistic. All right, so this is the uh, initial hockey lines that came out. Um, I only bet on that one game. And obviously the odds have changed for games that are in progress, but um, it's pretty cool that they have sports book here in Rhode Island. All right, so the Bruins Red Wings game is over, and I am so happy because I put in a forty dollar bet when they were down two nothing, the Bruins that is, to win the game, and they won three to two. So my forty dollar bet gave me fifty eight dollars plus my forty dollar bet back, so I got ninety eight dollars. So not a bad day. And uh, I'll show you guys some more of the uh, casino. Next, we're going to go to dinner at Jerry Longo's. And I'll show you a little bit about that place. So stay tuned. All right, so I have a few different promotions here at Bally's. Uh, so I have a kiosk promotion. Let's check in for my free cruise, and that is why I came here. So my cruise offer will be mailed to me in 10 to 14 days, which is awesome. And I've done a couple of free cruises through the casino. And I'll see what my options are when I get the uh, flyer in the mail. Also have some sweepstakes. Uh, let's see, 318 and 314, some entries. 
and then also in 325. All right, cool. Let's see how many points I have. Uh, it says zero, but that's not correct. So this is the upper floor of the casino here, and they actually opened up the poker room, which is down yonder. They have a few tables up here and some slot machines and a little food court here on the left. Um, it's much smaller up here, but it's non-smoking, which is a great alternative if you don't like the smoky casino. All right, everybody. So we're on the second floor of Twin River Casino, Bally's Twin River Casino, and I'm shooting down to the lower level, and this is the main room where all the slot machines are there's other rooms with slot machines but as you can see it's a pretty big space very colorful and uh spent plenty of time here and uh not usually winning here but it's still a lot of fun i'll get down on that floor in a little bit but i want to show you an aerial view of what this looks like all right making my way downstairs to the first floor in the casino and I'm gonna try my luck at a little bit of slots and see if I can win anything. So this is the uh, Lighthouse Bar at Twin River. Uh, they do a lot of music performances here. It's really early in the day, it's only four o'clock, so no one's, uh, nothing's going on, but it's a pretty busy uh, casino today. Lots of people here. The weather's not so nice out, so it's probably a good thing to do inside but anyways uh it's a little bit on the ground floor we're in the north section of the casino plenty of games and i'll take you guys around uh somewhere else in a few minutes cool i made it into a bonus on lucky hog let's see how i do on this all right wish me luck i get 15 spins i think yeah, 15 spins. And I need to get a whole bunch of coins. Coins, come on. This is a uh, Wicked Good Bar and Grill, which is one of the restaurants here at the casino. Just right. We just say it's just okay. It's decent, but it's not the best. But we're heading over to Jerry Longo's for an early blue plate special dinner at four o'clock before the crowd gets there. And mainly because we do have to take off soon, so it's okay. Uh, straight ahead of me is a restaurant called Fred and Steve's Steakhouse, which is also very good if you like steak. I'm not a steak eater, but um, it's one of the best restaurants here at the casino. So I'll show you a little bit of uh, Jerry Longo's when we go in. I'll show you the menu and whatever I order to eat. And here's Jerry Longo's. This is really, really a good place. Is it even open? I think it is. All right, so me and Newman are eating a little dinner at Jerry Longo's, meatballs and martini, and this is a really excellent place. I'll show you a little bit of the menu. You've got some salad. Um, clearly they're famous for their meatballs and martinis. And I might have a martini, actually. I can't come here and not have one. But here's their pasta, uh, pasta choices. And then I'm actually gonna get this right here and with Italian sausage. And this might be one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life, the scroll and beans. Um, calamari, Rhode Island style is also pretty good. I've had that here. And um, I forgot what else I had here. On the back side of the menu are your entrees. Uh, they have eggplant parm, chicken parm, chicken piccata, New York strip. Pretty much what you would see in an Italian restaurant. And then for sides, they've got a meatball, broccoli rabi, sauteed spinach, and cauliflower. All right, so I ordered the uh, dirty martini, and I got blue cheese olives as my garnish, as you can see right there. And uh, pretty tasty drink. I've already had a sip out of it. Newman's going with the uh, hardcore ice water with lemon. Yep. And we already devoured the bread with garlic. Uh, a little bit, I put a little bit of uh, cheese and red pepper flake in the uh, olive oil and it was delicious. That would be the uh, cool decor in this restaurant. So funny story is my 25th high school reunion was in this place. But at the time, it wasn't called Jerry Longo's. It was a comedy club, and uh, we had the entire thing, and it was a lot of fun. 
but I have to say Jerry Longo's is great. And I'll show you guys some pictures of the food that we get once we uh, get it on our table. All right, so our food came out and uh, we got the uh, chicken piccata with the risotto. And uh, this is one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. I've had it before. It's the escarole with uh, white garbanzo beans and some sweet Italian sausage. And Pete's uh, feasting on his uh, meatball, which obviously Jerry Longo's is famous for. So we're gonna dig in right now. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining this video. If you like it so far, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, give us a subscribe. Leave us a positive comment and we appreciate all your support. Huh? All right, so uh, leaving Jerry Longo's and James Gandolfini signed this picture, rest in peace. Uh, Sopranos, not surprised that you might see that at a place called Jerry Longo's. So I mentioned Wicked Good Bar and Grill and we joke that it's just okay, and it is just okay. But Rhode Island is known for saying the word wicked. We use it as an adjective to describe something that's really awesome. So we'll say, oh, it's wicked good or it's wicked awesome. And that's why this place is called Wicked Good. A little FYI on that. All right, so we're down on the first floor in the West Wing. And uh, this is where a lot of the table games are. I just want to be careful. This is the Blackstone Bar, which is a uh, cigar bar here at Twin River Casino. And you got a ton more slot machines down there. So this place is big. So I'm at the cashier right now and going to cash in my chips. More slot machines over here. There used to be a long time ago, I used to play a slot machine that was right in this row. I forgot what it was called, but it was my go-to machine. Old school game, it's not even here anymore. Ooh, it's hot in here. Gosh darn. Ooh. God damn it, it's hot in here. Oh, hey, how are you guys? So I won 850 tonight, that was good. Actually, I won 350, I started with 500, but. Anyways, we're gonna show you the rest of the casino. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave us a positive comment and share our video with your friend. All right, so Twin River has a hotel here. Bali's Twin River, Bali's Twin River. I'll see if I can get into the lobby. It is connected to the casino, but um, we'll see if it's worth showing you guys. I'll give it a whirl. It's another food court right here. We got Michael Scott's favorite pizza joint, Sabaro's. There's a Subway in there, a hamburger joint. Johnny Rockets. Basically all your uh, chain fast food places. You got more slot machines over here. And you can see the high limit room is up over here. I played a few times in there and I've won a couple times. Actually, I got my hand pay in there. And uh, not it's not that big of a high limit room though. There's probably only about 30 to 40 machines in there. So we're gonna see if we can get to the lobby of the hotel and that will round out today's video. I've never been to the store at Twin River. It's little tchotchkes. It's like Twin River's uh, reward store, I believe. Bali's reward store. And we got Dunkin' Donuts over here. And the hotel entrance is over here on the right. We're gonna go take a quick peek at it. And like I said, that's gonna round up today's video. So I've been, to, I've been over here once before. So a lot of times I get uh, complimentary uh, offers to stay here, but I live literally seven miles from this casino, so I never take advantage of it. But one day I should actually do it just to see what it's like to stay here, even though it's kind of pointless. The bright side, it is closer to my job. So maybe one day I'll stay here midweek and then that way I have a shorter commute to work. But anyways, I'm walking through the uh, connection from the casino to the hotel lobby. And uh, just looks like this is the front desk, the front uh, check-in area. And it's really underwhelming, but still pretty cool. 
All right, guys. So I this is the connection between the uh, casino and the hotel. Look at the wall. It is so trippy. Literally, it, it's making me dizzy. And if you touch it, it looks like it would be ribbed, but it's not. It's just completely flat, and it's the design. But this is amazing. And here's Newman filming it because he thought it was pretty cool, too. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's going to wrap up another one live from Twin River Casino, Bally's Twin River Casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave us a positive comment and share this video with your friends. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in another video. Take care.